The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey <laughs> Brothers Podcast. Slade, Trey, Rob, and I were joined by Matthew Broussard. Easy to find on social media yeah. uh, at Monday Punday and at Cockblock Gargles. We'll give you more on that later. Episode 824. Jesus. I know. Uh, we're working our way through this bottle of Weigel. It's a pen- penis... Penicillin, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's Pennsylvania penicillin. Straight bourbon whiskey. Pennsylvania also Wait. distilled because it comes from bacteria. Uh, this is uh, yeah. uh, on mold. Hell. This is 92 proof. Wow. Yeah, Surprising. Smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the bottle. Daniel, uh, we appreciate having you as a fan. All of you uh, that are fans, that uh, especially those of you on the Patreon, we love you the most. Uh, that said, we were, uh, Rob, I believe you had a story. About yeah, no, I, watched, I watched Saving Private Ryan on Father's Day. Oh, that was a joke. Uh, no. You oh. really have a Saving Private Ryan? I do. My dad loves it, so we watched it. You watch it every Father's Day? No, not every, but, yeah, but we watch it. Every other Father's Day? Here's the problem with Saving Private Ryan. Every right? seven or years? Or as I call it, Glorious Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> right? So Tom Hanks and his fucking crew, they get all the way down to Ramel, where the fucking Matt Damon, Ryan, is there. Okay. You know, and so have you seen it? No, I've never. You never seen, seen it. Private Ryan? You no. Fucking commie. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they get there, and so and Ryan says, "I can't go with you guys. We're here to rescue you, Ryan. We're taking you back to your mom because you're the only fucking kid left." And he out goes, of her spawn. "I ain't got no legs." Or... Yeah, yeah, it's another one. Anyway, Tom Hanks. So, yeah, it's so a Tom Hanks, and they're like, "Okay," and he goes, "We have to stay here and guard this bridge in Ramal. That's where, and my friends are here in their unit, and we have to stay here and guard the bridge." And so Hank says, okay, you know, we're all army. We'll stay and help you guard the fucking bridge. So they set up a perimeter. They get everything going. And then they wire the bridge to explode. They say, okay, if they get to a certain part, the Nazis will blow up the bridge. And so they can't have it. Well, it becomes instantaneous that this is a suicide mission. Because the guy's in the crow's nest, he goes, oh, there's four fucking tanks, there's fucking four tank destroyers, about 3,000 men, and like, okay, we'll fight. No! <laughs> You're going to blow up the bridge anyway. What? Blow it up and leave. Start there. Or, yeah, or better yet, go to the other side, and when the Nazis get half, then blow it up. That would be the move. You're not saving the fucking bridge. <laughs> you were never going to save the bridge, and you're all dead. <laughs> Who well, came up with this plan? <laughs> you're all dead, and they still didn't save the bridge. They're like, it's a really nice bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the historical context of right. this bridge is you very You were going to blow it. Just blow it up. The bridge was also a Confederate monument. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, what about it's our heritage? Tradition. tradition. Yeah. Our heritage. That is French. It was French design. I'm but sure the, the, the heritage. Start with. The French Just blow the fucking thing. If you do know there's no escape, right? And you do know there's people coming after you. You do go Leave. across the bridge and blow it up Leave. and get a head start. Yeah. I haven't seen the movie in a very long time, but your impassioned plea for the blowing up of the and bridge. I, yeah. I'd seen it before and I'm watching it going, why don't they just blow? And I asked my dad, why don't they just blow up the bridge? Well, they can't do that. Why not? They're going to blow it up anyway. Because it wouldn't be three hours long. Yeah, you cut the movie out by 30 minutes and Tom Hanks lives. Right? You yeah, could I actually watch it like... without peeing. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I've never seen, I don't like the title. Why? Saving Private Ryan. I wish it was called like Killing Private Ryan. <laughs> I'm like into shit like that, you know. You want to you want to see the bad stuff happen? How, how come? Not, I don't know if I talk about it. Oh, no, they did. They did. They did do that already. The American Sniper, right? Didn't he die from uh, Friendly Fire? American Sniper? With uh, uh, oh, he, no, he was the guy who was Bradley shot at the gun range. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, didn't he? Uh, it, didn't he? Didn't he? The only thing I remember from that movie is that he had his sights set on that kid who finally set down the rocket launcher, and then he yeah. looked really sweaty for like what was a forty-five second. And he had a fake scene. baby. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Baby. So what? Yeah, I don't remember the movie. Did he get killed by Friendly a, Fire? I thought he. I thought somebody. Okay, for the sake for the sake of argument. Yeah, but, but I, I want to see more movies up. of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to see that shit. Like, I, that's an interesting fucking. Because I do not like happy endings. Well, you can't fuck up a war movie. Like, like as long as you show the action, everybody's like, "Oh, 1917 was so blah." You didn't like, watch GI Joe. It's like, <laughs> the, <laughs> no, that, that don't count. What the I fuck? Motherfuckers wearing camouflage. Um, yeah, I, but you can't. It's hard to fuck up a war movie. I, but I just want to see a more interesting take of like, all right, just show GI Joe dude. stage name by the way. Okay, let's hear this. GI Joseph. 
<laughs> this is a joke we did from last night. We did I'm, so I'm doing a callback last night. Yeah. Doing a callback to a joke from yeah, 18 hours ago. Yeah, we were right, well, three in the morning. We, we were having a conversation. It was all of us at uh, at uh, Young uh, Blood. Youngblood's house. And every time I, someone said a name, we'd be like, "By the way, stage name Rob Zombie. Stage name Robert, Robert Zombie. Zombie." Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was just it was not going, bro. Yeah, I'm so sorry, GI yeah, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I get it. I probably won't be able to stop doing it. Yeah, that yeah, is, yeah it's catchy game. as fuck. Yeah, so um, fuck. But up. I would like to see that Eddie somebody Halen list is Eddie Van Halen steam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had Doogie. You can follow him on Instagram at Aziz Ansari. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, is uh, I asked you this last night. Is uh, you guys may know. Is Frankenstein Jewish? <laughs> I believe uh, he's Romanian. Romanian. So the the thing about That's the Stein weird. names he's is Rom- that okay. they're, they're they're German names, but the ones who came to America are mostly Jewish. So Stein is just a German uh, suffix. Certain, uh, okay, to a it's certain like name. Black Johnsons. Yeah, got it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Black Johnsons. Not, there, there are, not also, dicks. <laughs> there are also specific so prefixes that pertain to Judaism, like uh, silver, it? gold. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Silver because Steve, we were you know, jewelers and stuff like yeah. that. But right. uh, what's a cool them. thing is yeah. no w- ruby stains. W i t z is more likely Jewish. W i c z is more likely not. Polish. Yeah, huh. right. Well, Jewish Polish, but yeah, yeah, you can be Jewish and Polish. But uh, there's 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 an interesting breakdown of why German names can, are Jewish, why certain German names are Jewish, and why certain ones are not Jewish. Huh. So anyway, but Frank. Jews got out of Germany, so that's why you see them all here. Frankenstein stage name, <laughs> Frank. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. uh, no. Francis and Stein. Francis, <laughs> Francis Stein. and Stein. There you are, you fuck. God damn it. I love that Francis Frank is, is short for Francis. Francis yeah, because it's the most masculine and most feminine names <laughs> at the same time. Frank. Frank is that's that's the Punisher. Francis. That's I have Frank a name. Frank Castle, and then yeah. Francis. Francis is, Castle. Francis. <laughs> Bro, if you if if the Punisher came at you in that black. Kevlar yeah. with that rifle and you called him Francis, it's over. Yeah. yeah. You were yeah. Francis, he'd be God Settle, damn it. Motherfucker. Settle down, Francis. That's yeah. That's the bad guy in Deadpool. Yeah. And it's the uh and it's uh what's his name in uh Frank Underwood. Francis. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh the one where he's the president. Uh, Game of th- Kevin Spacey. Uh, Game, oh, yeah. of cards, or Game of House cards. Game of cards. Game of cards. Yeah. Cards of Thrones. House cards of, of House of Cards yeah. of Thrones. One of the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? House of Cards. <laughs> Frank Sinatra's. Francis. House of Cards. No, the one. The that, Watchmaid's Tale. The, <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the one without uh, Rhodey. The uh, Don mm-hmm. uh, Cheadle. Yeah. That's House of Lies. Correct. Yeah. The one with Kevin. A lot Smith. of houses and thrones. They really Game, just kind of cobbled houses. together Blanks of Blanks for yeah. a while in the uh, 2000s. Oh, did you, did, you guys, did you see the trailer for Blanks of Blanks? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Blanks of Blanks yeah. trailer? <laughs> no. It's really good. <laughs> I would watch Blanks of Blanks. Blanks of Blanks. Would you not watch Blanks of Blanks? I Blanks of Blanks. There needs to be more genre parodies of... I agree. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. My friends working on a genre. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it because someone else could take the idea. It's so good. But like, there's we for, we forgot how good genre parody movies and TV Dude, shows it's are. A rock, I remember the old. I mean, we go all the way back Airplane, to Airplane, yes. Top Secret. Yeah, you know what holds up? I swear to God, holds um, up. We could watch. Don't right say now Robin Hood, Men in Tights. No, it does no. not. <laughs> oh, not another teen movie. Really? That's still good. Really? Dude, there's a I'll throwaway joke. A never spoken joke. John Hughes High School. Yeah, their mascot is anyone know the is it pink? What is the uh, the wasps? That, they never wow. say it out loud. It's a visual sight gag the in the wasps. background. The ah. wasps. You're just like, like that's wow. hilarious. Yeah. Okay, that's clever. Because scary, oh. the first scary movie I think was good too, right? One, one, one and two. Was, I can't remember one which two one was good. Also, was, seven and thirteen weren't bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but by the time they got to the twenties, fucking those weirds was yeah. like Star old. Trek. But that wasn't so. them though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they hit their stride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, scary movie, thirty-seven. Yeah. There needs to be. We were talking about this yesterday. There needs to be. Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah that's. Should not say it. Should not say it. Okay, we'll no, only because only because for the same reason because yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah, and oh, that's okay. the uh, yeah there will be. But yes, that is uh, yes. <laughs> that's we'll just leave it there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow. How you guys doing at home? Confused and fucking mad? <laughs> you should be. Uh, Rob, what did you? Uh, 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 you're progressive, right? Sure. Ish, right? He went to a North Korea rally. What does that mean? It means he's very progressive. Yeah. Are they progressive? And no, it's just, I don't know shit about he's, Korea. He's, he's very left of center. <coughs> I went there to get laid. There was nothing. Only thing I know about Korea is that it's too many of them. Okay, yeah. so let, very, very. He's You're very. Right. There are two. Very progressive. South South 
Korea is a very like Western. Yeah, they're, they're, you've democracy. never have you have you spent any time yeah. in Asia? They're uh, it's but they a, impeach they impeach their prime minister or president, which I fucking uh, love. Moon, moon. She's the first female impeached. Uh, yeah. She got impeached. Yeah, she got impeached could, for corruption. Which, you can be first that's in a, a lot sign of things. Of a functioning democracy. To Absolutely, me. That made me very happy. Absolutely, I'm yeah. uh, I'm pro Korea. They're not North South. Yeah. Yeah, you're South. Pro it's also South a very Korea. prosperous nation specifically because of Samsung. Their innovation. Yep. Uh, uh, Hyundai, too. Yeah. It's and not a, that big of a country. But no, and almost MS. all of it is centered around Seoul. Uh, yeah. Like, that's the that's the It is an entire it. nation made up and primarily uh, they get their all their revenue from mash reruns. That's <laughs> <laughs> an economy that, based solely on hawk. What is their cut? I don't know. Anything? Do a, they get a, a mash? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It was filmed in South Carolina. In Southern they don't get those four set residual checks like the rest of us. Yeah, no, <laughs> and I was the, so. they filmed it there because the tax incentives were so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheaper than New Mexico. It's like Louisiana. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob, progressive. So why? what do you want to know? Well, would, do you think it's fair that it, uh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner should be the only mom to get a gift on Father's Day? Because <laughs> I, I it's a trick it, question, Rob. Yeah, I have it the foggiest idea. You go fall in the tiger pit. Yeah. Well, you know that's a big thing when. The well, black as community. a progressive man, okay, <laughs> I do believe more women should get Father's Day gifts. No, that's he's progressive. That's his shit. No, no. that's goofy. Because you don't, I don't like that. What are you, Fox News, telling me what I believe? No. Oh, Fox go ahead. What do you no. say? Nigga, you I don't said. care. I, mean, I don't care whatever fucking Jake Caitlyn Jenner gets from her fucking spawn. You know, there's a point behind this. Okay. I'm just, I, was like, <laughs> I, I don't doubt that. Well, no, I just was, I'm like upset that, you know, that in the black community, a lot of moms get gifts on Father's Day because that, they raise their kids alone. You ever wow. see that shit? Like, oh, there's my mom and my dad. And I was like, that's not I the see case. a lot. I see a lot. Oh, what I do, I yeah, see a lot single of single dads don't do that shit on Mother's Day. We let them have their day. Like yes. we never, you, we've never tried to intrude on their Trey, shit. If you go on, if you go Trey, on Facebook, let me give you a piece of advice. Let the women have what they want. If you, <laughs> yeah, you're out of your fucking mind. Just yeah, let them Rob, the woman whisper. Just, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just like I say, happy wife, happy wife. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's and, and, and I say that only because I could not care less. I got <laughs> no, you. If you I go, if you go no on. No care in the world about this issue. Social yeah. media on Father's Day. 100% chance every I didn't get tenth, a blowjob on my birthday. Every, so fuck them. Every 10th. That's because you were broke. The yeah. every 10th. <laughs> That was a anyway. It was a hooker joke. Nobody. All right. The every it doesn't matter what I was going to say. Where uh, where are we going? Oh, uh, I thought you had a point there. I'm I did. Sorry. We're going to take a break. Uh, whatever my point was, is lost. Uh, it got, if things get interrupted four times, I just go. Ah. Uh, it wasn't even that good. Um, <laughs> we're joined by Matthew. Single Versace. guys, we don't get tax breaks. We don't get a fucking thing. There's no. Pay I think. For I us. think by not adding children to the population, should be we a should be yeah. incentivized. Exactly. Interesting. That, yeah. We pay okay. taxes for schools that we never sent kids to. Hundred percent. We, for we don't get a day that are that that, that 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 we don't drive on as much as we would if we had children. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. And so, you know what? Give Caitlyn Jenner whatever the fuck she wants. I don't give a shit. It's, okay. It's an I, extra I, card, brother. I feel you. No, he, but he I'm not getting any less. This is my point. We'll be right back. Rob, you need to find somebody. This motherfucker is going through it. God damn. We'll be right back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. You got two at a time. What the fuck? Question? Comment? Just need to vent? Email us at podcast at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers. Slay Trey Rob, joined by Matthew Broussard. Uh, we, um, you've been on here before. If you want to listen to the old episodes, it's easy. Go back and buy them. Uh, <laughs> they're in there. I don't remember which ones they were. You, on last episode, mentioned Ralphie May, uh, dear friend of the podcast, dear friend of all of us. He uh, guest on here before, Houston comic. And uh, you guys, I guess, you were, because you were doing comedy before he died. Yeah, you were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't that long ago. God. Uh, I think we crossed paths two, maybe three times. Uh, first time, he doesn't, he didn't remember. So I saw him sitting on the street in Montreal. We were both at JFL. And um, I can't get up. Can you come over here and grab my hand? <laughs> because he's such a spectacle. Oh God! There's such a really. There's a great joke. Sorry, sidetrack. Uh, there was a, 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 a like a like an after party for uh, for uh, roast battle, and Ralph May was on it, and Anthony Jeselnik was one of the, the judges, and uh, Anthony a crowded room. Anthony walks up to Ralphie and goes, "Ralphie, there you are." <laughs> I'll slickest perfect. joke um, <laughs> ran into Ralph he was sitting on the street in Montreal I walk up to him I'm like hey man um, not to bother you I came up under Danny Martinez he was my comedy dad he goes you know like 
that's my that's my father basically mm-hmm. uh you know whatever you need i got you and we talked for a little while and he he, he started to you know uh uh Give me a lot of lessons. Give yeah. me a lot of advice. And it was, it was very nice. We talked for like about an hour just sitting there on the street. And my favorite part of all of it, he goes, man, listen, know what you got to do? You got to. Is that a good Ralphie? No, I'll do Close it whenever enough. you're ready. I'll Close just enough. reread the yeah. words in my own voice so it sounds more like Ralphie. Uh, there we go. He goes, Fucking pray, boy. He says, uh, he says what you got to do is you got to start really working out. <laughs> 500 push-ups, 500 sit-ups, 500 squats every day, every single day. Ralphie said that. Ralphie said that to me. He was like, you got to get leading man handsome. Leading man good. Look, other comics are going to make fun of you for looking good. Lean into it all the way. Wow. He was like, you have the chance to be a movie star. If you're funny and you look like that, go crazy with it. The funniest <laughs> part of all of it to me. Hilarious. Was that he thought the difference between me and Ryan Reynolds was 500 push ups, 500 sit ups, and 500 squats every day? That was just gonna if fill only. out my, yeah, yeah. all my muscles. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa well, believed in you, shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, listen, man, like, I've done the research, and if you just all you gotta do, man, is just like it's not even five hundred. You just do like four hundred, really. And that's yeah. you, pretty much Ryan Reynolds. You know, like, you're like a two fifty guy. You yeah. just do like I'll be honest, man. Look, you think this physique gets if your this form way? is really good. <laughs> if your form is good. Maybe just two hundred. That's. Uh, <laughs> that's his. That was his. That, that was, was the advice. difference. And it's, it's it was a funny piece of it. Was, no one's ever given me advice like that, and I get where he's coming from. It's a decent bit of advice. He also said, um, um, maybe that's just his way of conveying dedication and work ethic. Like I don't actually yeah. know what the fuck I, I'm talking about, but I know if you do more than I, you're doing now, you'll be fucking hotter. Yeah, <laughs> and it starts with push-ups because that sounds like a lot to me. Yeah. That sounds like a fucking lot. Like just doing yeah. one day would be like fucking no. oh my god I like how he gave Break you a your whole shoulders. you wouldn't even be fit you would just have yeah. a fucking horrible shoulder. he gave you a whole regime though yeah, he yeah. was like <laughs> you got two abs and fucking shoulders I got a, here's an yeah. advice for you Ralphie no Five, biceps yeah. <laughs> go, this is your advice for you Ralphie 500 calories a day yeah, yeah. <laughs> stick with <laughs> that and then we'll come back his was so time. Ralphie about it he added no cardio in the shit <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> here's the thing about Ralphie here's the thing about Ralphie and I, w- I gotta say this man uh, I, t- I toured with him for a bit and there were some days in the airport where we'd get off the plane going to catch a connection me him we had the same carry-on bags yeah one little roller bag and i couldn't keep up oh uh, <laughs> i'm not kidding his heart moved like a fucking horse that dude just pumped his leg i mean ultimately yeah. you know it got him but fucking secretariat over here dude it was <laughs> he was the mo- his cardio seemed yeah. fine Interesting. Yeah, that's all I can say. Couldn't stop, and that's why he was so successful. He just, just, just it was a, and I think, yeah, you know, and I think some of that too was running from some demons and staying busy and trying to not think about shit. But Uh, that's what it takes. Yeah, that's That's (laughs) right. All you gotta do, Matthew, is fucking. I I tell you what, you do, man. You fight five hundred demons a day. (laughs) You You fight them with your words and your. That's literally my favorite Malcolm Gladwell point. Is uh, if you just put in your five hundred demons, I think that's five hundred demons a day. That's you gotta hilarious. fight them. You gotta it's fight them. Ten thousand hours, five hundred yeah. demons, and, and a couple you, of push-ups. And, and you I think can fight them, you know, with whiskey or you know, <laughs> like I do with cream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I eat my demons. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. I did. A sh- I did a week with him in Baltimore. Okay. Uh-huh. Right? And this is what I do is full of shit. But God bless you know you don't speak ill of the dead. But you know, fuck him. You <laughs> you had a different relationship, yeah, man. I knew I a did. real Ralphie May, bro. Yeah, I. <laughs> you worked with him in Baltimore and then didn't I knew like him for fucking years. You yeah. open mic knew him. He hate dice. No, fucking <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and he said he had his fucking staple his stomach. Staple. He did. Right. Okay. Well, he had a fucking garbage bag staple to it then, because he was fucking there, and he in the green room. Yeah, I had the staple surgery. He did, and he's going. And they're like, well, what do you want to eat? You can get anything. All right, I'll have the four platters. <laughs> he gets these four fucking appetizer platters. <laughs> and like the oysters. The staples and, busted, bro. Yeah, That's uh, all. Clearly. Clearly. The staples had busted. The, the, yeah. <laughs> I think he meant he had a staple. I think he actually, he sta- like it was a staple store yeah. put onto him that he could put the food into. No, he was, Rob, you were, so Ralphie, when I met Ralphie, he was at like 700 yeah. or so. 
<laughs> oh, so yeah, you didn't know. So Ralph, oh my God, his my six hundred pound life would have been hilarious, like? bro. It was so there. There was the, his stomach came down. You can you can see it on a uh, look like like this fucking like table. So, not you, a tall guy. If you go no. look at old, I think there's a BET episode or so, like an early early when appearance. he had on the the blue jumpsuit. It might be maybe or the big yeah. purple shirt. He would okay. he had the beanie and the uh, some of those man. You his stomach came down and like to his knees. Knees, yeah. And then when he was when he when he died. Uh, he was at 400. He got the stomach stapled and he got down to like 400, right under 400. That's when I was with him. And then yeah. he kind of picked back up. I think he died between four and five. Yeah. Ironically, oh, died doing gosh. push-ups. That's a, one, push-up. Yeah. <laughs> During a push-up. Yeah. He That's, gave me more advice, by the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. He also said, start dressing nice. <laughs> wear wear like, a, you know, like a t-shirt with like a nice leather jacket. Don't be afraid to dress nice. When you go, when you go to auditions... Flirt with the casting director. <laughs> but it was also so funny that his idea of like dressing cool was a t shirt. He was going to dress like Roger Klotz from Doug. And that was the height of fashion. I get the cool part. The cool part. And I will say, no one else has given me this advice. And he actually, I, I, he was very astute to note this. There is a fear comics have. Of of being the best version of themselves. Of course, you you, you fear self improvement because it's so shunned in comedy. If you come in looking in better shape, people are like, "What the fuck is that?" Fuck if you, you dress well, they're like, "Ugh." Trying you, you to better to your bomb. life. If you look too good on stage, you start to bomb a little bit. And he was like, "Embrace that because you will get some shit from other comics. You might even take a hit in the last per minute. But on the other end of that, if you are the first leading man stand up comic, white, I should say, first white leading man." <laughs> There's never been one. Imagine if Chris Pratt also did stand up. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. There's been a lot of black. I mean, Eddie Murphy was a leading man. Of course, comic. Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah. You, yeah, a, a yeah. heartthrob leading man. Yeah, uh, uh, Kevin Hart. Uh, uh, Jamie Foxx. Jamie yeah. Foxx. That's Jamie sort Fox. of our wheel wagon. God, Mark, black Mark, people Mark, have to do so much more to get the same amount of credit. Wait, yeah. so hang on. Have right. there has there been? Who are the who are the white a leading man? Leading men. Not not and not in just the only part I could think of is Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton yeah, did stand, stand up for a while. He did it as but an entry way, as people yeah. in the 80s. Oh, he did. Yeah. Well, Tom, Hanks, he was good. Tom Hanks, no, that was Punchline. He just yeah, did it. He Hanks just played one. Good. He might have, yeah. Adam Sandler. But he's not good looking. Yeah, yeah I'm saying like leading man. Like, oh, like Lane good looking. Yeah, good yeah. looking. Yeah, actual leading man. Interesting. Ah, shit. I don't shit. think it's ever happened. There's never been a Gary Cooper, eyeing. George he like, Clooney. He to see that happen. Oh, right? Bradley Cooper didn't do stand up. He just makes funny voices. Oh, man. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. It's never happened. Wait. Are y'all blackballed? That's, Dude, so here's it's the for thing. some reason difficult to achieve. Do y'all have like a like you can either do either or or, but there's no but like y'all can't do. Dude, like, I'll be honest. It is. I don't know what That's it is. And this just this is my two. I think two. comics don't. No one wants to see a, a, a handsome white man succeed in, in that comedy. fashion. In You're comedy. right. Dane Cook tried Anything to do it. Anything that helps you, Dane Cook Look, came Dane close. Tried to do That's it. Right. Dane um, Cook came yeah. close. Honest to God, I think this is my two pennies. If you just did 500 push-ups or sit-ups a day. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and fuck acting classes. I mean, oh, <laughs> bitch, I'm jacked. Yeah. It's a stage Trust name. Trust my back. That is so funny. <laughs> That's what people say about, you know, I've got to take acting classes and do this. It's like, fucking Ron, Ronda Rousey's been in four movies. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. how much acting class do you fucking... That's fucking true. You get, now yeah. you get like 40 takes and you can just edit. Yeah. Them. Everything's oh, digital. Yeah, sure. it's, you had to take acting classes when they were taping on tape. Yeah, uh, but now you, you get just, it. Yeah, you can go to acting is still a if you hire Ronda honor. Rousey, give her three days with an acting coach. Okay, now go right. But the, but the difference between a, a, a Ronda Rousey and a, an Anthony Hopkins. You are gonna see this yeah. bitch as Ronda? I'm sorry. You're gonna is, see her as Ronda Rousey. See, you're we're gonna, getting yeah. better. We're well, getting also, better. Anthony Hopkins has the best thing ever. He was on The View. All right. Anthony uh-huh. Hopkins. This was years ago. You want to impress me as an actor? Host the View. Well, Anthony. he's on there. He's on there, and he, they and they're fawning about his acting skills. Of course. He's like, oh, so are you method? Do you do the method? What kind of training? And he goes, oh no, it's it's very it's very easy. You see, uh, they tell me to act as a pirate, and I act like a pirate. <laughs> That's and then they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> and he was dead. And they're like, oh, but he's like, no, that's it. That's, that's it. I can act like a pirate. This is back when he was doing Thor. And they're like, oh, they asked me to be Odin. And they're like, like what? You just act like a god. Okay. <laughs> this is what you do. I think it, I'd, hate to be, I'd hate to be in his acting class. Yeah. 
that's a that's fucking fun. twenty minutes long. Just and be nineteen of that is yeah. waiting on him to get there. They asked yeah. you to be a pirate, and I'm a pirate. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Well, mystery solved. Preparing salt. tea at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good one. Yeah. Is he the male male street? Like, is he that, or who's that? Who's like her? Whatever the fuck, I don't even. I don't uh, know. Olivier, Olivier or someone like that, probably going back a while. But uh. who would be the male Meryl Streep? That's that obviously still is Meryl Streep. Uh, alive? Meryl Streep is so good she could play the male Meryl Streep. I believe that. That's how good <laughs> she is. I, Meryl Streep could play James Bond. Her you know and Helen I don't, Mirren. I don't know. Daryl Streep. Daryl Streep. Write it down. Ah, God, no. With a uh, Y R R Y L. Her less successful acting brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just saying a dingo ain't my baby. Is that is that good for y'all? Is that good for y'all? I'm Meryl. This is my brother Meryl. My other brother Meryl. That's fucking hilarious. That's, I think oh, you got a shot. Do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a shot at being the first uh, white male stand up leading man. I'm 32, man. I better figure out acting. Pretty it's, soon. It's, have you have you tried? I I've, I've been going for it. I take classes. I, I booked a couple things this year. Uh, I have did, a, did you act like a pirate? When no. I said, act like a pirate. I played uh, Colin Jost in a movie. <laughs> Basically, what? Colin Jost. Okay. Uh, so this was the conversation. And, a, and, a, and a, if Colin? I may brag, a Billy Crystal Tiffany Haddish movie that's coming out. What? Yeah, I had like five scenes. It was the first like real thing I booked. It was fucking. Oh wow! Really When's it funny. come out? Uh, I don't know. It might. It might Billy go festival. Crystal's it might go alive? digital. It might go. Yeah. Dude, that fucking guy, he directed and starred in the movie. I've never seen someone who had that much energy. Billy Crystal. He was so yeah. cool. Yeah. He was so cool. He he, we, he might had, be the had, closest. We, we went to overtime <laughs> every day. You know what? He was a stand-up who became a leading man. Yeah. Uh, you know? I mean, he yeah. might be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah. The, he was so talented, he became a leading, leading man. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I he mean, was stand-up. On soap and Crystal. Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And, Technically, yeah. He really, really kind yeah. of, because he was, I mean, granted, he's goofy looking, but he also was. And then was he a, did all those romantic comedy bullshit Right. Things. Yeah. So if you right. discount those, though, he was a real actor, too. Yeah. 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 Well, was he, was, he, so was it intimidating of, to be directed by Billy Crystal? He was, um, he could do his scenes and ca uh, care to me, cater to me as well. Mm. Like that one of my first days there, I fucked up a lot. We were doing this, shooting this kind of, I don't know, it was like a minute or two long scene, which is a long time. Uh, and I fucked up a line, and I deflated instantly. I was in a room full of much better actors, and he rushes out, and he was like, "Great job, you're doing great. Just we're just gonna take it from the top." And he could he could sense he in knew me exactly where you that were. I was starting to beat myself up, and he knew that that would lead to a bad scene, hmm. and he didn't let me feel that way. It was really cool. What a cool experience, dude! It was dude. really cool. Yeah, yeah. Colin uh, Jost. I was I was playing basically the, the it was a, a fake ah. SNL I was playing the yeah. the Weekend Update guy slash a player on the yeah. team kind of kind of a writer yeah wow yeah, you favorite Colin that's yeah. a uh, like a, yeah but a, a very hateable Colin Jost. <laughs> which so method acting so, <laughs> so Colin <funny>. Jost <laughs> we got to get out of here did you get here. to bang Scarlett Johansson while you played him or did you have a I did that to get okay. in, prep in preparation good for the for role you. yeah good for you yeah very yeah. method yeah <laughs> uh, Matthew Broussard easy to find at Monday Punday or at Cock block gargoyles on Instagram. Uh, you can see some of the sculptures. Uh, you're very talented. Uh, you're a good friend of the podcast and a good friend of all of us individually. Thanks for being here. Um, you're going back to New York. Anything you want to plug? Um, I'm, I'm supposedly in D.C. at the end of August if, uh, <laughs> if the world exists. Perfect. And uh, listen to She Does Stand Up Too. Oh, yeah. yeah she yeah. Does Stand Up Too, the she podcast that you yeah. host with your uh, girlfriend, Laura. Um, check that out. Uh, Rob Mungle, Trey Tutson, Sladeham, and Matthew Broussard. We'll see you guys on another episode soon. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.